Hey Dev Kids, we're gonna kick off our first video lesson by reviewing the Ten Commandments we've been going through. The first one says, Do not have any other gods other than our one God who should be first in our heart. The second one says, Do not bow down to any idols. So we have our fingers and we're, we bow, make them bow to help us remember. The third commandment we've talked about is do not use the Lord's name in vain. Keep God's name holy. So we've got our W for words and our number three, and we remember not to use the Lord's name in vain, but to keep it holy. The fourth one is honor the Sabbath day and keep it holy. So we're going to make a church out of our fingers to remember to honor the Sabbath day. Usually on the Sabbath, people go to church, which brings us to a tricky point because right now we can't go to church. We can't get together. The Bible says in Hebrews 10:25. Let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another. So, we're not going to give up meeting together. We can still meet together here, and we're going to stay connected. I'm going to be asking your parents for videos of you throughout the week so that we can put it in this video that we're sending out each week. and Y'all can see each other, and we can connect, and we can still learn. So, get excited, because we're going to continue learning and doing church together while you're at home. Another thing we don't have to stop doing is memorizing our fighter verses. Whether you have already started memorizing them or not, it is not too late to start. We would love to have you join in on that. Right now, we are going through and learning the Armor of God verses. We wrapped up that series last month, so you should be familiar with it. The first verse in that is Ephesians 6, 10 through 11. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. If you memorize that, record it, have your parents send it to me, we'll add your sticker on here. When you get back, I will load you up with candy. Today's lesson is about honoring the Sabbath day and keeping it holy. But what is a Sabbath day and why do we need to keep it holy? It is a day of rest. When God created the world, he did everything in six days and on the seventh day he rested. And that's a gift to us because sometimes we get really busy. And if we don't have a reason to stop, we might not stop. We'll just keep doing things, different sports, different homework, a lot of different things can be pulling at us. So that's why God says to have a day where you make sure you stop. You don't just keep going and going and going, but you choose to rest. You choose to go to church, you choose to worship, spend time with your family, and reflect on the week and how God has blessed you. And it's important to do that right now while we are in kind of quarantine and having to stay still and at home, it's going to be a little bit easier to do that. So take this as an opportunity to kind of have an extended Sabbath day that we can keep holy and not have to keep everything spinning as much. A lot of things are closed and we get to be still and rest. And we can be still and know that God is good and keep him on our mind and take advantage of this time. And then when things start to pick back up, we are still commanded to honor the Sabbath day and keep it holy. We can do that by picking one day a week to just make sure we are calm and we have a day to rest. We're not always busy and juggling. So as a fun game, if we were together, we would throw things at each other in short. And then at home with your siblings or your parents, I want everyone to find a pillow and then try to find an extra pillow. And I want y'all to try to juggle them. So count to three and then everyone throw a pillow and see how hard it is to keep all of it organized and pick a person who you're throwing it to. As a game to help you remember not to be too busy, I want everyone in your house to find a pillow. And then you're gonna pick somebody and count to three and then trade it. You're going to throw it to them and they'll throw it to you. And you have to be able to throw a pillow and catch. And you're going to go around and juggle the pillows in your house. This is to remind you that we don't have to juggle things all week, every day. We are called to pick a day not to juggle everything and to be still and rest and refocus on God. So, go find pillows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten Commandments You'll discover how to love God and each other If you keep the Ten Commandments One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten The Ten Commandments You'll discover how to love God and each other If you keep the Ten Commandments God first, no idols
idols Don't misuse God's name Worship and rest Honor your parents This will bring God fame When you keep the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, the ten commandments You'll discover how to love God and each other if you keep the ten commandments One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, the ten commandments You'll discover how to love God and each other if you keep the ten commandments